But this particular example is of a red ball attempted rally exercise. So, um, you know, when we're coaching red ball players, particularly beginners that are only just starting to learn the game, they're all they're, they're always going to go through a period where they're not able to rally at some point. But it's really good for us to be able to give them activities that that challenge them to learn how to receive and judge where a ball is. So this particular scenario here is a red ball court, which is, you know, we've got, a, let's just say we've got the coach who's going to be coaching in from the side here in this position here, and he's going to be feeding the balls into the players uh, in, in this spot here. Now, um, the most basic rule we can use for an attempted rally uh, ball activity is, um, is basically uh, players who are hitting the ball um, over this side and for this player to basically trap it and stop it to go past. So this particular scenario, we're going to use what we call a champ challenger format, where the players over this side, um, if they if they win, they're going to come down and take this, this player's spot here, okay? So the most basic level of champ challenger attempted rally we can do is the coach feeds the ball in, this player comes up, okay, um, and they hit the shot. If they hit the shot uh, in, inside the lines of the court, all right, this player's role is just to literally trap the ball and stop it from going past that line, okay? So if that player was to do that, then they would stay as the champ. And you could play a whole game of champ challenger around that if your players are at the stage where they can't yet judge the ball, but you'd like them to practice it. The next level of the of the champ challenger in this in this format um, uh, would be, or attempted rally, is, is for players to be able to get the ball on their strings and see if they can uh, and move that ball forwards, okay? So, um, in this situation, coach feeds it in, player hits it over the net. If this player can hit the ball and they move the ball forwards, now often beginner red ball players will not be able to do that, but if they hit the ball and it touches their racket and moves in a forward direction, it might go that way, it might go that way, it might go that way, they, they keep their spot as the champ. Okay, so that's, that is the, uh, the second option that you have when it comes to red ball rally uh, pro progression or attempted rally progression. Um, the third option um, you can have if players are a little bit better than that is coach feeds it in, this player to keep their spot as the champ. All right, they, hit, they need to hit the ball into the net or over the net, okay? Um, if they do that, now the ball can go over the net and out, but as long as they're hitting it, a pretty good strike on the ball into the net or over, they keep their spot as the champ. Um, and uh, I would say the, the last progression before they actually start rallying, um, if players are a little bit better standard than that, is um, the player hits the shot over. If they can get the shot over the net, doesn't matter whether it's in or out, they keep their spot as the champ in that spot. So after you get players doing that pretty successfully, then you're playing a regular game of champ challenger where players that need to hit the ball in to, and, and win the point to keep their spot. But there's a couple of examples of at least attempted red ball rally scenarios.